NBA Commissioner Adam Silver uh, told the radio show Mike and Mike that North Carolina might lose the All-Star game if they don't go back on their new anti-LGBT law. So this is fascinating here. He said, I believe they're going to do the right thing, and I think they've heard loud and clear from the NBA. They know what's at stake in terms of the All-Star game, but I think, at least at the moment, constructive engagement on our part is the best way to go, as opposed to putting a gun to their head and saying, do this or else. We've been working very closely with the business community down there and uh, the governor and the legislature to make it clear that it would be problematic for us to move forward with our All-Star game if there is not a change in the law. Okay, wowzers. So this is something that we've seen a few times. Um, whether it's Mississippi, whether it's North Carolina, or if it's some other southern states, uh, they've recently passed anti-gay laws as uh, in response, really, to the Supreme Court decision that found that gay marriage is a constitutional right under equal protection uh, under the law. So there's this, like, backlash, the last stand of the anti-gay bigots in the country. And we're at the point now where the mood is so overwhelmingly on the side of gay people and the money is so overwhelmingly on the side of uh, the LGBT community that, uh, like, that's it. You've already, you've lost. You lost the fight. And they're, like, PayPal was going to set up a plant in one of these states with hundreds, they were going to hire hundreds of people. Now they're not as a result of some of these anti-gay laws. All these different big uh, corporations are like, okay, if you do that, fuck off. We're just not going to go there. We're going to go somewhere else. And if there's one thing that can move Republican politicians, it's big corporations and it's money. So, hear me now, quote me later. In all these different states, these strong anti-LGBT laws, they will fold eventually. In fact, one of them already did. I forget which state it was now, but there was one state that passed one of these things and then soon after they were like, oh, did we mean that? No, no, we didn't mean that. And then they got rid of it because they were losing so much business and so much money that they were like, we can't afford to do it. We just can't afford it. So we're not going to do it. Now, obviously on the issue itself, so gay rights, they're right. They're 100% right. But there's also a, a downside to this kind of corporate activism, which is we shouldn't live in a country where you need corporations to agree with you before you can get anything done. Because then guess what? You're never going to get an increase in the minimum wage law. It's just not going to happen. You're never going to get uh, higher taxes on the rich. You're never going to get higher corporate taxes. You know, uh, you're never going to get corporations taking a stand against outsourcing deals like NAFTA because that they benefit completely from that. So you're in this weird situation where on some issues they help you, social issues, because of the, the, the mood of the country is changing. And also, again, because that side of the issue now has more money than the evangelicals who are against it. So they help you on some issues, but then on other issues, they hurt you big time. So here's what has to happen. You have to get the money out of the system, out of politics, and you have to make it so that these corporations have no political sway. Just on this rare issue, it, it turns out they're on the right side, so it seems like a good thing. But there are huge downsides to having corporations have this much sway over our politics. It should be the case that simply based on the fact that now over 60% of the American people are for the LGBT community, that should be enough to make politicians say, yeah, okay, let's not pass anti-gay uh, laws. So, I mean, in, in a rare instance here, good job to the corporations and to the NBA and to all these people who are like, fuck off if you're passing anti-LGBT laws. But you have to understand the whole dynamic is the problem, though, because if they're with us 20% uh, of the time on, like, social issues and some other things, that means they're against us 80% of the time, and the politicians overwhelmingly will listen more to them than they will to you.